Hello, my dear children. A poem is something that we all love to listen and read, don't we? We have already learned a poem from our English reader book earlier. Now today, it's time for a new one. So let's get started. Our lesson number four is a poem at the zoo. Let us first begin with the recitation of the poem. At the zoo. Be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo. Don't make fun of the camel's hum. He is very proud of his noble palm. Don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee. He thinks he is as wise as you or me. And the penguin strutting round the lake can understand remarks you make. Treat them as well as they do you. And you'll always be welcome at the zoo. Dear children, this poem is written by Eileen Matthias. Let us now learn about new words. Our first word is camel's hump. That means a large lump on camel's back where it stores water. Noble. That means great. Strutting means to walk around proudly. Dear children, as I already mentioned before, this poem is written by Eileen Matthias. The poem talks about the etiquettes or manners that one should follow while visiting a zoo. We may call it zoo manners. Be careful what you say or do when you visit the animals at the zoo. The poem begins with a caution that we should be very careful about what we say or the way we behave inside a zoo. That means it's not good to tease the animals or misbehave with them. Don't make fun of the camel's hum. He is very proud of his noble bum. Dear children, we should not make fun of the camel's hum as it stores water in it to survive in desert. The camel is very proud of it. And we should also treat him with respect. Don't laugh too much at the chimpanzee. He thinks he is as wise as you or me. The poem warns us not to laugh much at the chimpanzee because they are equally smart as humans. And the penguin strutting around the lake can understand remarks you make. Dear children, the penguins that keep parading near the lake are able to understand good or bad remarks that we pass on them. So, we should be very watchful of our words. Treat them as well as they do you and you'll always be welcome at the zoo. At last, the poem ends with a suggestive note saying we should always treat animals at the zoo with respect. We should be kind and gentle in our approach. If we do so, we shall always be welcomed at the zoo. Dear children, I hope you enjoyed the poem. Practice reciting it and take care of yourself.